EBSB Club of St. Thomas College of Teacher Education Pala presents a documentary on Kerala Piravi or Kerala Day. The documentary presented by one of the members of EBSB Club is to familiarize students of Government College Saluni with the history of the state Kerala. Kerala Day or Kerala Piravi is celebrated to commemorate the birth of Kerala as an independent state in the Republic of India on November 1, 1956. Prior to this unification, Kerala was divided into three independent provinces of Malabar, Cochin and Travancore. Malabar Presidency constituted the northernmost territories of Kerala that included Thalashiri, Kannur and Kasargod. The princely state of Cochin occupied the middle section and the sovereign states of Travancore administered the southern region. After the independence of India, there arose a strong need to carve new states on a linguistic basis. Thus, a few years after independence, Kerala was reorganized as one such independent state. Kerala Piravi Day commemorates this momentous union that led to the formation of modern-day Kerala as we know it. Caressed by Arabian Sea and Western Ghats, Kerala has 14 districts, each of which has their own unique tourist destinations. Thiruvananthapuram is the state capital which is located in the northern zone of Kerala. Kollam is the premier trade capital of the old world and is the centre of the country's cashew trading and processing industry. The district's Astamudi Lake is the gateway to the magnificent backwaters of Kerala. A hilly province of pristine splendor, Patanamthitta district is hailed as the centre of pilgrim worship in Kerala. Three rivers across through its terrain comprising lowlands, the middlelands and the highlands. It's also home to the unique Aramula Kannadi, metal mirrors that are meticulously handicrafted and the Vastuvidya Gurugulam, a village which practices the ancient Indian school of architecture. Alapura, also known as the Venice of the East, is famous for its boat races, beaches, marine products and coir industry, as a world-renowned backwater tourist destination of India. Located in the southwest of Kerala is the district of Kottayam, renowned as the Akshara Nagari or Land of Letters. Kottayam was the first town in India to achieve total literacy and about four-fifths of the books published in Kerala come from Kottayam. Sitting in the basin of Meenachal River and Vembanad Lake, Kottayam is home to vast stretches of paddy fields and massive rubber plantations and spice gardens. Idukki, the second largest district of Kerala, with Munar and Periyar with its pride, the very sound of the district conjures up images of elephants, unending chains of hills and spice-scented plantations. Half of the district is covered by forest and the hill stations have a salubrious climate. A fascinating mixture of the old and the new. The district comprises many interesting cities including Kochi. Ernakulam is the commercial capital of Kerala, one of the finest natural harbours in the world. Kochi, renowned as the Queen of Arabian Sea, was once a major centre for commerce and trade. The British, Arabs, Chinese, Portuguese, Dutch, etc. have all come to its shores in search of exotic spices and sandalwood. Located in central Kerala, Thrissur is the cultural capital of Kerala. Descending down from the western guts, Thrissur comprises highlands, plains and seaboard. Historically, Thrissur has played a significant part in fostering cultural relations with the rest of the world. Kodungallur in Trishur is the place where Jews, Christians and Muslims arrived to Kerala from the west. Cheraman Juma Masjid, the oldest mosque in India, is located here. Trishur district, being the seat of culture, houses the Kerala Kala Mandalam, the Kerala Sahiti Academy, the Kerala Lilith Kala Academy and the Kerala Sangeetha Nadaga Academy. Trishur is best known for the plethora of Purams or regional festivals associated with temples, earning it the title Land of Purams. Palakkad is a vast stretch of fertile plains interspersed with hills, rivers, mountain streams and forests and is home to the Silent Valley National Park. 
a 40 km mountain pass known as the Palakkad Gap at the foothills of the Western Ghats acts as a corridor between Kerala and Tamil Nadu. Malapuram literally means a land atop hills and the region is enriched by three great rivers flowing through it, the Chaliar, the Kadalundi and the Bharadapula. Malapuram has made numerous contributions to the cultural heritage of Kerala. A famous center for Hindu Vedic learning and Islamic philosophy, the temples and mosques of this region are well known for their spectacular festivals. Kharikot district in Kerala is one of the most important regions of the Malabar coast. Serene beaches, historic sites, wildlife sanctuaries, rivers and hills make Kharikot a popular destination. With a legendary seaport, Kharikot was previously the most crucial region of the Malabar coast. Vasco da Gama landed on its shores in 1498. Once the capital of the influential Zamorins and a prominent trade and commerce centre, the wings of change have swept over this charming coastal land. Located in the northeast of Kerala and at the southern tip of the Deccan Plateau, the district of Wayanad explains why Kerala is dubbed the God's own country. Least populous, least urbanised and largely under forest cover, Wayanad is truly a heaven on earth. Kannur is a culturally and historically rich district in the north of Kerala. It has long been a port and trade centre and has had trade relations with several civilizations, including Greeks, Romans and Arabs. It is part of the Western Ghats and hence blessed with many natural treasures. Kannur is dubbed as the city of looms and lows thanks to the flourishing handloom industry and folk art called Theyam. The northernmost district of Kerala Kasargod is famous for its handlooms and its 293 km long coastline. With its cultural uniqueness, the place is known as the land of gods.